Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this geometric line art figure in Affinity Designer. This figure is based on a triangle geometric line art figure, I mean something like this, that is duplicated six times around the center point to form this hexagonal shape. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions and we click on create and then we make sure that snapping, snap to guides and snap to object bounding boxes are enabled and then we go to view guides and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition and then we're going to start drawing the triangle. So in order to create an equilateral triangle in Affinity Designer we take the polygon tool and we set the number of size to 3, and we set the fill to none. We leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 1 point. And then, starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the 1 to 1 proportions, we go ahead and we create a triangle of about 700 by 700 pixels in dimensions. And then we're going to create the other inner iteration of the triangle, so in order to do that, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we scale it down by holding Ctrl and Shift. Until there is a thin white space between both triangles. And then we rotate the duplicated triangle to the left, like this, until it touches the first triangle. And then we're going to press on Ctrl J to power duplicate. until we have as many triangles as we want. And then we select all the triangles, we press on Ctrl G to group them together, and then we position it in a way that its top extremity matches the center of the composition. And then we go here to enable Transform Origin. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition, And then we rotate it by minus 30 degrees. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we flip the duplicated triangle horizontally. And we bring it to the right while holding Shift until it snaps to the first triangle. And then we select both triangles. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And we press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate. We set the number of copies to 2. And the rotation angle to 120 degrees. And we click on OK. So this creates the rest of the figure. And as you can see here where the lines get together, it looks like a Jinko leaf. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a geometric line art figure in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!